Hi, this is Jim from AWS. The topic of this session is portfolio discovery and analysis. Migration typically goes through five phases, evaluation, planning, design, migration, and optimization. The discovery happens at the planning stage. Portfolio discovery refers to a process that generates IT inventory data about application, servers, network devices, and storage, which are already deployed in customer data centers on-premise. The goal of portfolio discovery is to produce prioritized backlog of applications for migration. The backlog drives the iterative design and migration in the subsequent phases. In the following, we have to go through types of portfolio data, discovery tools, analysis of discovery data, and prioritization of application migration. IT portfolio can be comprised of hundreds of data elements. The data elements are typically characterized as application, server, network, and storage data. Let's walk through a few data elements and see why they are required. For application data, among the various factors, criticality determines the priority of applications in the migration backlog based on business and technology drivers. Characteristics describes application behaviors such as stateful or stateless, or whether an application is reassumable in case of interruption. This type of information can be very important to migration design. Stack will determine the grouping of applications for migration. For example, a web server, a backend application, and my SQL database may form a three-tier web application. They are together for one wave of migration. Server data such as operating system, CPU, RAM, and a disk will determine the image type and VM size to be used in the target cloud. Among the network data, firewall rules will be implemented by ACL or security group in the cloud. For storage, the capacity and the utilization data will be used for resource capacity planning during the migration process. Here is an example of requirements for portfolio data collection. Some of them are mandatory and some optional, depending on specific customer or environment. As part of the migration planning, you shall specify such requirements for portfolio discovery. From the vast amount of portfolio data collected, we need to extract key pieces of information to form a migration plan. Connections is a critical piece. It helps determine application and server dependencies and also help identify access patterns. Performance metric is another factor to help right-size resources in the cloud. Another aspect is using service naming conventions, tags, and other host metadata to help identify patterns and group servers and applications for migration. The portfolio discovery process shall aim at completeness and usability. If additional data are required, you need to determine tools and actions to complete discovery. By now, we have collected and analyzed IT portfolio data and have derived groups of applications. Next is to prioritize the applications for migration. A number of factors may determine the application migration priority. Here are three major factors. Business criticality can be determined by applications' business impact, frequency of use, size of user base, etc. To minimize business risks, perhaps you want to consider migrating the least business critical applications first. Application complexity can be characterized by technology stack, architecture, or dependencies between an application and the underlying infrastructure, or dependencies among multiple applications. Along this dimension, applications with the least complexity may be migrated first. 
The third factor is environment priority. There can be different types of environments for different purposes. Migration priority may be given to development and test environments first to start development work in the cloud. Discovery automation is a key to minimizing the migration planning time. Tools are available to help automate the discovery process and provide more detailed information in a variety of formats. AWS provides Application Discovery Service, ADS, to help systems integrators quickly and reliably plan application migration projects. In addition, as listed here, several AWS partners offer tools for portfolio discovery and analysis as well. In case customer needs service support, you can find the discovery and planning service partners at this AWS website. How can we pick up right tools for the portfolio discovery and analysis? Here are a few factors we should consider when picking a tool. Agent-based and agent-less are perhaps the most commonly described implementation mechanisms employed in dis discovery tools. Agent-based discovery refers to having agent software installed on the machines or host that require discovery. Having an agent on the machines may give you more insights into the data. On the other hand, the agent software needs to be installed and maintained, which takes time and resources. Agentless methods does not require any software pre-installed on the machines. Instead, to collect data, a discovery server connects to the machines using remote access method, such as SSH and PowerShell. The agentless method requires credentials to access the machines. You need to make a trade-off decision based on the pros and the cons of these two methods. After all, the customer owns the portfolio data and may have requirements on where the discovered data shall be stored and how the data shall be protected. Even though most tools perform dependency discovery, they may differ in terms of information abstraction. Some tools may provide dependency data at the server level. Sometimes those data can be too granular or too noisy to identify migration groups. Some tools may provide application level dependency data, which can be helpful to application grouping. Performance discovery is a common requirement. A question is whether you really need deep application or infrastructure performance data. The more data, the more collection time. It's a trade-off. Visualization and reporting is another area for consideration. User interface with effective virtualization and dependency graph manipulation capability can be very important to data analysis and migration planning. So it's report generation with a variety of formats like XML and CSV, or ideally an API if possible. Please note, when evaluating discovery tools, you also need to know constraints in the data center environment that may affect the use of certain discovery tools. For example, are there any restrictions on the type of ports that can be used for scanning? Will on-premise security policies let you share administrative credentials if needed by a tool? To summarize, we evaluate and choose discovery tools based on the needs for migration planning, and we also take into account customers' requirements and environment constraints. This table shows several popular discovery tools in comparison with some of two features we just described. Some tools may offer more features than others, yet may cost more. It's a trade-off between feature set and the tool cost, among other factors. The takeaway from this session is that discovery and analysis is an essential step prior to the migration design phase. Furthermore, discovery automation is critical to migration schedule. Various tools are available for discovery and data analysis. 
Thank you for watching.